Hello, peoples. This is Josiah. I am outside. Uh, I think it's like uh, April 2nd or something like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is solar panel I just made. Ha ha ha. And guess what? It works. Ta da! Proof it works. That's amazing. See the voltage changes if I put something over it or take something away. Very cool. And uh, it seems that my calculations were all correct. So. Hopefully, this thing will be sufficient to power my boot. E. Bye. Hello, this is Josiah. I don't know that I've really talked much about this, but uh, I have plans to compete in a solar boat race. And um, so what you're looking at right now is actually the back of a solar panel I have constructed. Here's the front. And this is in my basement uh, in the evening, so not really any sun or anything, but as you can see here, I've actually con uh, constructed it out of three uh, relatively thin sheets of plexiglass. Uh, uh, little brother. Uh, such as this. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, one approximately one inch thick sections. So the overall dimensions of the panels are approximately 10 inches wide by 3 feet long. Um, I have quarter inch aluminum channel on the edges uh, reinforcing them. Uh, two leaves, the positive and the negative, coming out. Uh, and it comprises of uh, 26 cells in series. Cells look such as this. Very thin, very fragile. <laughs> Uh, they are uh, attached together using this uh, special solder wire. You can see it's a uh, very thin, pre-tinned um, wire. Uh, just use a little bit of flux on there and it uh, solders right up. This is my soldering iron, it's pretty nice. Um, uh, I used a little bit of extra solder on the back pads because there's not as much area down there. Uh, anyway. Uh, basically, I'm going to be attaching these uh, into a one big array, essentially one pa big panel, uh, that will go on my uh, boat, which I think I'll show you later. But just today I got the motor uh, in the mail, uh, but it's got this little windy prop on there, so I think I'm going to try and put this big prop on there. So we'll see how far I get along in that. Um, here in the future, and I'll hopefully be able to show you my boat too. Bye. Hello, people. This is Josiah. I'm just going to take a quick uh, bid here of my boat. It's a solar powered electric boat. These are the panels that I made myself. Uh, I believe I might have done a little bit uh, on those before. They're tied down with uh, bungees and little brass eye hooks and things, and I've got each one rectified so that the current uh, can't fly back through them and dissipate off of the battery if I get the sun goes down or whatever happens. Um, this is the uh, little cabin. <laughs> cabin. Uh, and then here's the funky steering mechanism I made up, which uh, basically, um, yeah, you turn this pulley and then it rotates this. Now it's crossed because if you, because I want it to turn in the direction where I point, uh, so that's why it has to be crossed because otherwise it'll be the reverse. Um, and uh, this is the motor mounting that uh, uh, Cullen did a good job of uh, coating that in epoxy, so I made that up. Again, more brass stuff. Uh, brass is good for boats. Very nice. Uh, this I actually had to hack on. Probably can't really see it, but that is the propeller. And that's a new propeller. Uh, the old one this came with was pretty weak, uh, so I had to make up a new way to put that one on there. Uh, not too hard. 
and then I actually have the cover off of my control box here because I'm thinking of relocating this entire box area here and putting it down over here on this uh, pulley down here the main control wheel um, so if that works out I'll have throttle, my forward and reverse and off uh, functions all uh, easily within arm's reach because I can't I don't know if you can tell here or not but uh, it's a bit of a reach <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of essentially what's going on with this project uh, I was hoping to take it out last Saturday but it was raining all day and of course very cloudy so uh -huh, solar panels wouldn't have done anything plus uh, I would have gotten totally soaked so we'll see what happens. Bye.